The money in focus is not an easy thing, let's be honest. And actually the AF, the autofocus, is definitely way, way better and easier. But last January I bought this lens, a manual focus cine lens, and after all these months there's actually a lot to say about this topic. So let's start. This video is not a review of the Siri Nightwalker 24mm T1.2 Cine lens, but instead is my sort of experience about using manual focus over the last months because I was actually wrong about manual focus. Let's start from the base and so my negative initial view on the manual focus. In fact, like four years ago, I've been using, I've tried to use the Nikon 3100 with a 50mm fixed lens which had only the manual focus and I would say that my experience with that lens taking photos was completely, I would say terrible because every single photo was out of focus and after using it for, I mean, literally a few days I didn't like the manual focus and so my view on the manual focus was that it was something difficult to use, a little bit unuseful and that it cannot provide a good quality result both from photos and on videos. Even though this everything started to change when in January I was looking for a lens for videos, especially made for videos, so for example with more light, with a better bokeh effect, so for example with an f2.0 or something like that, apart from my 16-80mm f4.0 from Fujifilm. And you know, I didn't want to spend much money, but apart from this, I wanted a bit of a wide lens at a not big price with some really amazing quality results. And so I knew that the cine lenses were great, and so I decided to go on the Siri 24mm even though it had manual focus. But there are, there are actually lots of reasons for this choice, because at the start, as you can believe, it was not easy to buy something, considering that I didn't like manual focus. At the start of the video, I said that I was completely wrong about manual focus for one main reason. That is because all the cameras became better and better throughout the time, throughout the years, and today manual focus as uh, in, I believe, every single camera, in my case, in Fuji, have an electronical and so a sort of an automation way to control the focus and to check if the subject and if a point of your image or video is on focus. In fact, when you are, for example, scrolling the ring of the focus on your manual focus lens, the camera will show you the highlighted part of the image with some contrast that are in focus and so as you can understand manual focus is no more a problem i mean you need to take some in obviously it's a bit difficult more difficult than the autofocus but this electronical and assistant built in into the camera makes i believe the 90 percent of the work so manual focus today is completely different it's pretty easier and I was wrong because my negative view on the manual focus now it's unjustified. I mean, it's the manual focus, it's easy, it's something easy. Okay, so we have said that manual focus with this built in in the camera assistant is quite easy to use, but how do I actually use this manual focus lens? And the answer is pretty simple. Before I said that I wanted the lens for videos and basically I use this lens for for example recording videos like this one. At the moment I'm using my 16-80mm from Fuji, I even made a video about it. But usually, for example in my previous video, I've been using this lens which is pretty amazing because once you've understood the distance between yourself, the face and the camera, the distance is always that one is something constant and so the focus point will be almost the same one during the whole video. And apart from this, which is the easier task to do with a manual focus lens, I even record, for example, all the B-rolls because I really like the T1.2 bokeh. That's literally amazing. But even, even though it's a manual focus as not slow, it takes a bit of more time to understand the focus point. You can even take some videos in motion, for example, some little short videos outside, moving around, because 
after some time you actually understand how to deal and how to use the manual focus and you can sort of predict the focus point and so that's the real game in manual focus. Talking about the advantages of having a manual focus on a lens, first of all I would start from the price because I mean having a manual focus rather than an autofocus system on a lens is cheaper because you just have a ring for the focus to change the focus and this is way cheaper than having a whole autofocus system built in into the lens and so you can save money on this side and in most of the cases for example on cine lenses all the quality will be on the image on the bokeh rather than spending some money and resources on the autofocus performances and another great point is that in most of the cases in videos having a fixed focus point it's not a problem because in this case I'm using a night tracking with this Fuji lens but when I'm speaking to the camera I don't need the eye tracking the manual focus is great and so I will not run in all the risks and will not rely completely on the autofocus and for example on the eye tracking so this is a really great point last but not least photos so I bought this lens for videos I said it but you can still take photos because all the advantages and the electronical assistant that is for the focus built in into the camera works both in the same way for videos but even for photos so you can shoot photos even with these manual focus lenses and I mean you are not gonna buy a manual focus lens like this one only for photos you are not gonna go on holiday only with a manual focus lens having an all-around autofocus lens like this one like the 1680 is better obviously it's more reliable you don't need to think about the focus but still you can take photos and for example I use this lens rather than this one because it has a great bokeh for example to create some nice thumbnails for the videos and so I mean the all the problems and all the things that I was wrong about in the videos for the manual focus reflects even on the photos because you can still take photos and in some situation I've been taking photos without having any particular problem so I mean my initial thoughts on the manual focus even on photos were wrong were completely wrong I would say that we have seen lots of different things about the manual focus and my experience with the manual focus and in my opinion it's a really interesting topic for most of the people because I would say that most of the people which haven't used yet the manual focus doesn't have a really positive view on, on it rather than for example the autofocus but actually you need to discover it because once you start using the manual focus with a motor camera you will understand that manual focus is not a problem it's not a thing that you need to be worried about and so buying a manual focus lens like this one I will make a review about this one if you want let me know maybe down in the comments but in general having and buying a manual focus for some specific situation can be good and can be even better than an autofocus so you don't need to worry about it so maybe I will make other videos about this topic because I'm exploring manual focus I will probably understand a bit more in a more efficient way how to manual focus my videos and my photos so there's still lots to play for lots to understand and so maybe you know other contents will come even videos and but even short so let me know if you are interested into this topic if you have any particular question let me know it down in the comments and so I would say that's all for this one if you enjoyed this video two things leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe that would be literally amazing and so I will see you guys in the next video see you soon guys have a nice day bye See you soon.